Hey everyone, George here. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. This is Western Wednesday number 15, and we're sticking with that Halloween Octoberish mood with High Plains Drifter. This film came out in 1973 and is directed and starring Clint Eastwood. So, the reason why I picked this movie for October after Django Kill If You Live Shoot is because High Plains Drifter has a very supernatural and ghostly feel to it which really fits that October Halloween kind of mood. So this film is about Clint Eastwood's character, who's the stranger. He's a guy that arrives in the town of Lago, this town full of cowards and, and um, just a bunch of strange characters, really, and uh, basically takes over the town and helps out the town, too, by helping the town's people take care of a group of bad guys who are coming back into the town after being released from prison. There's more to the story than that, but that's essentially High Plains Drifter. This film is a full-on revenge movie, and it has a very supernatural feel to it. It has a very funny sense of humor to it. It kind of has a bit of a mean-spiritedness as well. And it's a really unique Clint Eastwood movie. Uh, it's really interesting to see Clint Eastwood play a character like this, where he's essentially that badass, stoic Eastwood, but he also has some nastiness to him as well, which I like a lot. I, I always love Eastwood as a director. I think he's a really good director and one of the best actors, especially for westerns and as far as playing badass characters. But here, it's, it's a very unique movie and the way he filmed it. This film utilizes colors and grit and grain and dirt and the use of fire and shadows, darkness, and uh, the color red. You know, it's that famous scene in that third act, you know, where they paint the town red and it's just, it's, it's a really cool looking movie. D. Barton does a score and it's a fantastic score, I think. And um, yeah, High Plains Drifter is a 10 out of 10 movie. It's one of the best revenge movies ever made. It's one of the best westerns ever made. And it's one of the most unique westerns, too. It's a very funny movie. It's a very mean-spirited movie at times. However, it's full-on fun, and I love this movie a lot. High Plains Drifter, definitely check it out if you haven't already. Most people have, though. If, you've, if you like Eastwood and you like westerns, or if you just like great western classics. About time this town has a new sheriff. I'm the sheriff. And the mayor. The man, the mayor. Any objections? No. Oh. shot my ear off! I'll kill everybody! Okay, so next week for Western Wednesday number 16, we are going to talk about one of the most underrated westerns. And uh, it has that horror feel to it. So. Tune in next week for Western Wednesday number 16, and it has Guy Pierce in it, and I think it's something you'll really dig. It also has David Arquette, it's a really good cast of characters, so you probably know what it is, and it's one of the most unique and one of the most underrated Westerns, I think. So, tune in next week for Western Wednesday number 16. I hope you all take care and stay safe. Bye!